Hey guys, over there is on Fantex Day, and welcome back to Sophia Tears. We are on day five. Trust. I looked up uh, how long the game is, and I got conflicting results. It was saying, you know, some people were saying it was ten to, two to ten. That was like the official estimation was it was a two to ten hour game. Seems how this is gonna be the fifth hour of recording. We're about halfway done, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. It depends. So there may there, this may be like oh shit, what, what episode would this be? This would be number five. So, this is probably going to be like halfway through if the 10 hour estimation is correct. Because I'm taking it very slow and I'm doing this just one day, one episode. So, I'm not trying to speed run or anything. So, this is probably going to end up being like a 10 episode series. Something like that. I don't know. Alright, so let's get going here. <clears throat> cold. This place is cold. But this time, it isn't lonely. People chatter in the background. Lights lit in the night sky and music plays from every shop. I feel a slight tug on my arm. Oh, there's Myra. Aww. Cheeks flushed. Myra stands beside me. Her mitten-clad hands are soft and puffy, but I can still distinguish each and every finger. I try to speak, but she shakes her head. And we walk. Aww. I'm awake? Oh, was he dreaming? Huh? Yeah, I'm confused. That was er self explanatory. <laughs> but yesterday evening is still fresh in my mind. It's only natural that I dream about her. I'm not Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> He's just like, fuck it. Just fuck it. Uh still I don't know what to make of what happened yesterday. Maybe I shouldn't pry into Myra's past. She's been nice to me so far, and it sounds like there's a thing or two that she wants to hide from me. For good reason, perhaps. Either way, I'm certain that she wasn't lying yesterday. Almost certain. No, no, I'm certain. None of that was a bluff. You can tell when someone laughs or smiles whether they're faking it or not. Either that or she's a brilliant actress. And cue the Rin. Aww. Is she, wait, is she actually wearing her, oh, okay, no, she's not wearing her coat inside, okay. I was like, what's with her outfit? And I forgot, that's her outfit without her coat. Good morning, honey chan you're up early. Seems like it's becoming a habit, good or bad. I'd say it's a good one. I've been busy. I guess that's all. <coughs> mm, excuse me. But you haven't been studying, have you? Of course not. I just... My voice trails off and I'm surprised when she doesn't question me further. You look like you're thinking about something. I look up. My breakfast is half finished and my last ten minutes of memory is gone. I told you, it's nothing to worry about. I know you said that, but... Come on, Ren, it's me. Do you really think I'd have anything to worry about? When you put it that way. But still, you're thinking too hard. Hmm? Thinking about what? Whatever it is you're thinking about. Just stop. Aw, oh, Ren's like concerned. That's... I couldn't be that transparent. I mean, things are fine, right? Some problems will always be out of your hands, so you have to know when to take a break and stop worrying. He's doing it clumsily, but... Thanks. I know what she means. More importantly, I don't think I could I should be taking life advice from you. That's probably true. But don't forget, sometimes it's good to confide in others. It helps clear your head. Wise words from someone like you. I'll keep that in mind. Oh that's right, Oni Chan. How was your date? And wait for it, he's gonna lo lose his mind. It wasn't a date! Oh, really? Then what did you do? We just walked around for a bit. We walked around for six hours. That just about summarizes it. Well, we weren't just walking. We were walking and talking. She doesn't believe me, does she? But, but you've already kept this girl a secret from me for this long, and now you're trying to hide the juicy details of your first date. Don't you trust me? That teary-eyed look stopped working on me half a decade ago. <laughs> Well, even if I did want to divulge the details, there isn't much I could tell you. So you mean you were alone with her from lunch till dinner and absolutely nothing of interest happened? Exactly. I suppose the whole episode about that Kinsey guy could count as interesting, but I should keep quiet about that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I suppose I'll let you off for now. Yeah, in the last episode, um, they were talking about a tree, and uh, it was planted by this... Uh, this um, famous multinational corporation CEO dude, and he's, you know, how he worked from the bottom up and built up his company, and yada yada, he's an upstanding guy, 
And um, if you look up uh, Leonard Kenzie, or not Leonard Kenzie, Leonard Kinsey with an I, uh, you find that that is actually the author of The Dark Side of Disney. It's a book about all kinds of messed up stories of people doing stupid stuff at Disney. It's like creepy. I don't know. Anyway, but know this. I'll find the truth someday, and someday soon. But yeah, that's why I'm the last upset. And how exactly do you intend on doing that? Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry. Ah, don't worry yourself about that, dear brother. I have my ways. Oh, that was fucking freaky. Wait, was that a reference to? Was her eye a reference to the other thing? To the to the fucking what anime was that? With the dude with the fucked up eye. Was I could get? Was I could guess reference? Maybe. Was I could guess? I'm thinking of. I don't honestly remember. But I swear her eyeball looked like that. Looked like that guy. I better go back to sleep. Yeah, run. Run and hide. With the mandatory nonsensical morning conversation out of the way, I slide into my shoes as the clock marches onward. All I have to do is open the door and... Well, this is a new one. Okay, it's Lucas. With the, with the bill music. I love it. Little bill music. It's awesome. Greetings, Mark. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing me in my own house. Never mind that. The important thing is that we have spent appallingly little time together lately. Don't you agree? Little? Sure. Appallingly? Debatable. Sharp tongue is ever I see. Alright, let's go. Okay, are Rin and Lucas a thing? Because they were spending time the other day, and then... Oh. Oh, this... God, this whole storyline's convoluted, and I love it. it. It's such a mystery. I have no idea what's going on. It makes you think. It might take a moment for this to sink in, but we're not entirely late today. I might go as far as say is that we're early. With a soft whir, the power button on Lucas's laptop lights up. By the way, Lillian probably won't be coming today. Aww, no Lillian? I like Lillian! Really? Why? I'm pretty sure she has tests just like us. She said she was sick. She'll probably come tomorrow, so it's no big deal. Aww! I like Lillian! I wanna see her. Lillian and Mark have, like, I, I want them to be cutesy again. Okay, adorable. Hmm, I've never known her to be a sick type. Everyone gets sick, Mark. I know, but... Huh, I'm not sure what I was going for there. Anyway, I doubt any of our teachers will mind if she misses a day. Well, everyone gets sick. I know. I get the feeling she doesn't believe me. It's a shame, though. I still haven't properly talked to Lillian since that day at her house. Yeah, no, you haven't. And considering everything that happened... Oh, Lucas, did you watch the game last night? Yeah, it was incredible. Shame we couldn't win, but the competition was great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. Um, yeah, apparently she's, like, losing her mind over something. When I see when I see his confidence gaze and stylish beard, even I... Uh... Oh, look, the computer booted up. That should make this less awkward. Ooh, yay! Can I play? Fine, fine. Just ha just save the replay under your own name. Lucas averts his eyes in shame. Sometimes I forget he isn't, isn't good at every game ever. Hey, Mark. Hmm. Don't want to watch Rin accomplish something that you can't? Or that too, but it didn't even occur to you that I might want to chat? Oh, Lucas is getting deep. This could be serious. It was a slight possibility. This conversation is hopeless, isn't it? One of Lucy's classmates gravitates to the computer as Rin starts playing. Actually, I kind of wanted to tell you something. Seriously? That's not a thing for you to say. I know, you're not the only one who feels awkward around here. Classmate. Whoa, you're supposed to dodge all of that? She's just the mid-boss. Don't worry, it gets harder. Isn't that exactly why I should worry? Uh, well, it's about someone you know. So I had to tell you at some point. Oh! Oh, is this going to be Lucas expressing his feelings for Lillian? Oh, this could be interesting. I really should have mentioned it sooner, but it's easier said than done. Wait, what are you talking about? The thing I was supposed to tell you that I keep avoiding. Oh, right. Sounds like you're avoiding it, too. You memorized that, didn't you? I had to. Instinct isn't always enough to get you through. Dang, and you already lost a few lives. I'm not perfect. Hey, I'm still impressed. Okay, so I like how Rin and the other classmate are having kind of a background thing going on. So it's not strictly focused on this. It, it, it keeps reminding you, hey, Rin's playing a game next to him. It, it gives you the image that this is actually like a moving scene. I like that. 
So what's this thing about? The silence? Staring contest? <laughs> of course not. I never lose with these glasses. Oh yeah, he's got the, he's got the anime glasses. Shit don't actually work. It'd be cool if it did though. I could blind my enemies. <laughs> I knew you were kidding. If you wanted to make small talk, you could have asked. Actually, that's not what I wanted to say. So then what do you want to say? Remember the bookmark? Oh, here we go. It's getting serious now. Oh man, this that is one awesome battle theme. You get sick of it when you hear it in every Mirex album like me. Or trust me. But is he really the strongest boss in the game? The parasol and frilly dress make me wonder. Well, you know, it's one of those games. Oh, of course. I'm surprised Lucas hasn't beaten this yet. I think he prefers the fan art. <laughs> yeah. My heart skips a beat. Bookmark? You mean... Uh-oh. The bookmark in Lillian's drawer. The one in Lucas' bag. The conversation they were having at lunch. The snowman. Her words. Her smile. Her voice. Lost in icy wind. Her words. Her words. But were her words? Sound effects are the secret to this one. When you hear the warning, move from the inner circle to the outer circle because it means that the red and blue lasers are about to switch. You still gotta move pretty quickly, man. This is intense. That's why you're supposed to start in advance. You're already following the movements of the red lasers, so if you start slowly following them out, you should be able to release your focus and sprint to the edge of the screen in time. I should take notes. Are you saying... I didn't say anything. No. But... The singing of the synths from the computer serves as background music. Did she tell you? Lillian? He nods. This one looks easy. What's the catch? Give it a few seconds and you'll see. Damn. That's hardly a real trick to this one unless you can memorize the location of the safety corridor. You just gotta go at it with everything you've got. What happened? I don't know. What do you mean? I forced the words out of my mouth. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Anything can happen, really. So you think? I don't know what I think, but I can guarantee that something will happen. Something. From the moment I met Myra, the moment I spoke to Lillian on that sun-drenched evening behind the mall, since then the clock has been ticking. I just couldn't see the hands. I might be wrong, Mark, but I think it's time. I think... Enough. Shoot, only one life left. Keep it up, you can't give... Give up after coming this far. I know, but even so, you can always use it to continue, right? You can't. And even if you could, why would you? Continues are for elementary schoolers. I don't want to know. I'll see how it goes. What's the worst that could happen? You're right. With something this uncertain, that's the best course of action. But I won't get hurt. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Let me go find out for myself. If that's what you want, then I can't stop you. Thanks, though. I smile and he responds awkwardly and kind. I smile while pretending not to see the warning signs pass me by. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Fifteen more seconds and I would have won. Well, don't feel bad. You did great for an impossible... an impulse run. Thanks. You're not a bad guy, you know that? Eh, I don't know. Hey, are you for... I, sorry, I gotta go. Oh. Oh, I think the classmate was trying to get with Lillian. And then... Or no, not Lillian. Uh, the classmate was trying to get with Rin. And then Lucas with the bookmark and the, and the snowman and all that. That's why Lillian was so uh, amped about the snowman. Because she knew Mark, or not, uh, she knew uh, Lucas made it. Right? Oh, so Lucas and Lillian might actually be a thing after all. The way they were talking, it was like so serious. Like, dude, don't even tell me. I don't want to know. Oh, man. Damn it. Because I, I liked uh, Lillian and Mark. Lillian and Mark were such, like, together. And it's like... Damn it, I still ship Lily to Mark. I don't know, he might be- Lucas might be thinking of something else and telling him the wrong thing, I don't know. I look at my hands, twitching sporadically, the sweat-coated, glistening blobs of flesh rust rest under the harsh fluorescent light, tainted, twisted beyond recognition, the sides of my hands are stained black. Mark, you look like you're about to die. I feel like I'm about to die. Anyway, I guess I should wash my hands to get all this graphite off. Graphite? The fuck's- Oh, graphite. You probably, like, I don't know, from pencil, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Good idea. We'll be able to use... The, we'll be at the usual spot. Ugh, cannot read today. Oh, I have something to do after school today, so don't wait for me. After school? But isn't there an unwritten rule between you and your friends to go home as soon as possible and not waste time socializing? You make it sound like a bad thing. But, I mean, I'm busy. I can be busy in an unnamed location, right? Wrong. Er, 
Hey, that reminds me. How was your gaming session with that guy this morning? Oh, um, he looked like he was having fun. I bet he was surprising me. The girl that can hold her own in a game like that actually looked like he wanted to say something at the end of it, but the bell cut him off. Oh, this game is interesting. Well, we didn't really talk. I mean, you know, besides, besides what? Er, I don't have to be a shrink to guess that you're hiding something from me. What gives you that idea? I would never do that. You're trying to change the topic. Mm hmm. You're my sister. It's not like your tricks are new to me. But I'll let you off for now, if you promise to build the details when you get home. Uh, hey, wh what do you mean? It's alright, have fun. Okay, so it seems like Rin might be going off with the classmate. Wait, Rin's going on a date? Uh, what, hey, uh... That's not English. <laughs> no, no, it's not. That's why I couldn't even say it. It's not English. It's some form of gibberish. It might be Spanglish, I don't know. Th that's not it. That's the best retort you can come up with? I was just kidding, but I guess it's true. I never thought the day would come. Er oh, wait. Does that make you a traitor? If you actually start going out with this guy, it might be problematic. Er uh, but I guess it's okay if you convert him. It's never a bad time to add another one to the family. What the fuck are they even on about? Just, like, turning us a normal dude into, like, a fucking otaku dude. Gamer person. Alright. Can you please shut up now? Huh? Oh, okay. That was freaky. Genuflect. Huh? I said genuflect. Y you know, it's starting to get really hot in here. I think I'll just... Winner, Mark. Oh. Right. He returns her glare to Lucas without a second thought. So will you do it? Will you genu- What is genuflect? Or won't you genuflect? What the fuck is genuflect? Uh... What the fuck is genuflect? <laughs> I want to figure out what- What is genuflect? <laughs> I dare not open my mouth in situations like this, so I'll do my best to convey my message telepathically. <laughs> Come on, Lucas, just give up your pride and genuflect. Our lives could be- in <laughs> What is genuflect? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Wordlessly, hiding his shame behind the glass, he concedes defeat and bows his head. What? What? Oh, I have to Google this now. Hold on. What the fuck is genuflect? What the fuck is going on? Genuflect. What is genuflect? Lower one's body briefly by bending one knee to the ground, typically in worship or as a sign of respect. Oh, okay. So it's like, uh, do you yield? <laughs> do you, you know... You want to go? That's basically her way of going. Don't even start with me. I will whoop your ass. <laughs> Congrats, you passed the test. Test. Well, it was just more fun than anything else. Uh, it was more just for the fun than anything else. Rin yells. Sorry, do that to you. Let's eat lunch, shall we? Okay. God, genuflect. Okay, that's a word I've never heard of in my entire life. Can you believe that? Freedom, delivered by the afternoon bell. Most of our end of term work is now complete. Just a little bit more and we'll be free for the holidays. Holidays. Every time that word comes up, I think of Lillian. If the last day of school is in two days. I need to smoothen things out fast. Oh, so Mar- Okay, so- Oh, this is really getting confusing to me. Because is Mark- does Is Mark in love with Myra or Lillian? Oh, dude. This is crazy. Mark. What? Lucas, when'd you get here? That's not important. Alright, then what is it? Are you bored or something? Hmm, I suppose one day one could say that. Well, I'd hate to say it, but I think I'm pretty bored myself. Except that one would be wrong in saying that. That was intentional, wasn't it? Okay, just try to get to the point. Do you need a partner to go somewhere? In a sense, yes. There's a place that I want to go. Place? Lucas averts his gaze with a sad look in his eyes, unconsciously fidgeting his fingers. The classroom falls silent. Oh, the music cut out so abruptly. That's freaky. Oh, Lucas, what is up with you, bro? What is the deal? The sun peeks through the clouds for an instant, glancing off his glasses and hiding his expression. A feeling of subdued longing emanates from him. Wait, what's with this narration? <laughs> exactly. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist. She doesn't the look. I, uh, I stop him with a glare, or at least I try to, but I only last few seconds before I laugh gets the better of me. Well played. Suddenly, 
and this time unintentionally the room falls silent. Seriously though. Never again. The fuck's with these these dark ass jokes of like, let's be super, super serious. Nah, JK, JK. <laughs> I love it. Uh, there actually was somewhere I wanted to go. So you weren't just making all that up? I was planning on asking you normally, but I couldn't resist messing with your head. That's a nice thought, isn't it? I'm glad you agree. In any case, the place? It's Cafe. Uh, he's looking a little embarrassed. Could have sworn I heard him add of sorts to the end of that. A cafe? Yeah, a cafe. Yeah, a cafe with maids. <laughs> of course, Lucas, of course. Uh, I should be yelling right now, but we had a maid cafe in this country. Yes, apparently so. It's been open for a few years, but... Save it, I'll pass. So you won't accompany me on my pilgrimage? I contemplated for a moment, but the icy breeze reminds me that I should probably be indoors. Yeah, you'll have to handle this one on your own. Yeah, Lucas, you, you do that. Do it yourself. Rest assured, I shall return with tales of beauty and splendor from the world of knee socks and lace. Look forward to it. <laughs> He's so intense, I love it. Lucas charges off into the non-existent sunset. Uh, I guess this means I have to go home by myself. I'm halfway to warmth and comfort when I catch a glimpse of a certain little sister. Rin? Uh, hey, Mark. So I'm guessing it didn't go well. He couldn't make it. I had to meet up with a friend without, from out of town. Ugh. He? Hmm. Guess she isn't afraid to admit it now. Well, that's not so bad. At least he didn't get rejected. I, I told you, it wasn't a date. We were just going to go to the arcade. Really? So that, and what was the fuss about? Well, you know, boys are scary. I know I should be trying to help her, but come on, that's just too cute. Yeah, it, it is cute. Rin, Rin is adorable, honestly. Like, she's the most adorable of all the characters. I like I like Lillian for Mark with the romance. Um, Myra, I like her outfit the most. But Rin is the cutest of all the female um, characters in here. All of them. Just, uh, they're so awesome. All the characters in this are awesome, but Rin is by far the cutest of all three girls. There are some guys who would fall for you instantly if they heard you say a thing like that. But those aren't the scary ones. Of course, of course. Well, what can I say? You're growing up. You should be proud. Growing up is less fun than I expected. Tell me about it. Yeah, not fun. Adulthood. Not a, not a fun time. Say, I've got an idea. Please don't set me up with one of your friends. I don't think that would be a very good idea. Hey, are you implying something? Way to go, self. <laughs> oh, my back. Ow. Oh. Oh. <sighs> hmm. Uh, anyway, I was trying to say that we should go somewhere. Huh? Where? I don't know. Anywhere. Let's go to the mall. I'll show you to a Sunday or something. I'm not so two-dimensional as to be satisfied with something as simple as a dessert, you know. Why are you drooling from thinking about it? Well, it's not my fault Sundays are sweet and creamy and delicious. <laughs> hmm. So, what are you gonna do? F what are you gonna do for our date? Oh, you're trying to- oh god. Can we please not call this date? People will get the wrong idea. But you promised me a Sunday. Isn't that a complete non sequitur? Oh fuck. I don't even know what that word means. So many words, I don't know. Uh, anyway. Why don't you decide to, what to do? I'll do whatever you ask for today. Hmm, I like sound that. Why aren't you just pushing the decision on me because you have no idea what to do on a normal date? Ouch. That's kind of mean even for you. Don't worry, I'll think of something fun. Leave it to me. Eh, Rin's so adorable. So intense. Ugh, this is tiring. You really have such little stamina? Even 12-year-olds can handle this. It, it's easier said than done. I've never done it before, so... Whoa! Whoa! All you have to do is put your body in, into it. Don't let them get away. What the fuck? But they're too fast. What the hell are they doing? Are they playing whack-a-mole? Aw, oh, Rin's sad now. You gotta be kidding me. What can I say? Whack-a-mole is harder than it looks. Yep, whack-a-mole. I know, and the UFO character, and the UFO catcher was even harder. 
He played about ten times to get one item before realizing that it was more or less a waste of time. I wonder what Lucas would say if he saw you lose to a game like this. Actually, he'd probably sympathize. He can't play air hockey properly. I guess you're better at uh, things that don't involve standing up. I'm better at things that run on a steady frame rate. <laughs> Real life doesn't run on a steady frame rate? Anyway, you're not going to let yourself get defeated by a whack-a-mole, are you? Come on, try it again. Saying this knowing full well that, that I'm paying, but she's bound to get physically tired after a few rounds, right? Alright, I'm going for it. Go, Rin. Wah! She spots the mole as soon as it appears and she swings at it. And misses. I can see them, but the stupid thing is too heavy. You do know that it's meant for kids, right? Yeah, crazy weightlifting kids who eat raw eggs and run around during recess. I suppose the level grinding your Pokemon so you can beat the last boss with a rat attack. <laughs> it was in the top percentage of rat attack. <laughs> Swing and miss. See, by the time you recover from the recoil of one swing, the next mole is already about to disappear. I know that. I can see them, too. It just takes so long to move this thing across the board. That's because you're putting too much force into it. It's not a hammer or a mole. Just whack them. But then you have to lift it up right away and move all the way to the other corner. Ah! She got one and missed the following two. The moles give up on her and disappear. Yeah, whack a mole is not to be fucked with. It's a lot harder than you'd think. No fair. 17 out of 50. I guess that's a bit better. One more time. Oh god, here we go again. This is going to be a long day. Yes, yes it will, Mark. I tend to be wrong about a lot of things, but if there's one thing I know, it's that Rin has, a very, has very little stamina for physical activity. <sighs> I was putting my wallet on the line back there, but she got tired after four games. Shame, she never even scored higher than 25. <sighs> you sound tired. I haven't worked this hard since phys ed in elementary school. Or, don't you have phys ed in the first year of high school, too? Technically, yes, but, well, you know. I don't know, and I'm not sure if I want to know. You know, this is supposed to be a treat for you, but I get the feeling I'm not doing a very good job. It's okay, all that matters is that I'm with you, right? Aww. Yay, sibling time! Still, I have to find a way to outdo that guy who stood you up. It's my duty as a brother. Yeah, go, Mark. He, he didn't. I mean, wait, we already went through this. And she hits me on the head, of course. Ouch. Anyway, we can't sit around here forever. I'll carry your coat if I have to. You're already carrying my coat. Well, this time I'll do it willingly. <laughs> really? Fine, just forget about it. Why don't we look at some clothes or something? Yeah, clothes are a waste of money. It's not like I'll find what I want here anyway. Wait, you mean you were actually planning on seeking out and purchasing an article of clothing in your own time and with your own money? Ouch. Not for school or for a guy or anything like that. It's... It's for cosplay. You know me so well. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. Okay, so this is what Mark looks like from the front. This is... Okay. Finally. It's been fucking, what? Four episodes already? It, it, it's been like five days. And we finally get to see Mark in all of his glory. So he wears like regular pants, regular shoes. Wears like a polo shirt. Got a green jacket. And he's got the same hair hairstyle. Okay. Awesome. Oh, it's so adorable. Rin's like so happy. A pair of arms wraps themselves around mine. You you can get low. You can let go now. Wow. Are you stuttering? Did I make you stutter? I haven't made you stutter in years. Since when was this a game? You did it again. All right. Now I'm never letting go. Fine, fine. You'll get bored when I stop reacting. Aww. Ah, Rin is so fucking adorable. I love it. Seriously, though. Thanks, Mark. I grab the still grinning Rin by the armpits and lift her off me. Come on, the evening isn't over yet. R right. Oh, they're gonna go get a Sunday now. Ah, so sweet! Oh, it's a Sunday. Uh, the art style is absolutely awesome. Doesn't try too hard. See, this is why Rin is so adorable. Look at the twin tails, man. Look at it. They're, she's adorable. I love it. In a good way, I assume. I don't think it's possible for something to be sweet in a bad way. I silently agree. It's hard to deny the delicious delicacies of ice cream and fruit. Yeah, there are things that are bittersweet. You know, like grapes. Grapes can be uh, a little bit sour. Pickles. Pickles are like kind of a sweet sour thing. 
Not that I could bring myself to order something like that. So, how about it? Are you feeling better? Okay, see, I don't know about you guys, but i never seen ice cream like that, okay? Maybe it's because, like, I've never gone to, like, a proper ice cream shop or something, but I've never seen ice cream in a glass like that, filled to the top with, you know, whipped cream and sticks and whatever. I've never gone to, like, a proper ice cream shop and seen something like that in my entire life. I've seen ice cream, but I haven't seen that kind of ice cream. I don't know. There we go. So, how about it? Are you feeling better now? He starts to reply and abruptly stops. Oh, look at her fucking eyes! Look at her face! She's just so... Oh! My heart can't take this! She's too adorable. The spoonful of sugary cream... Creamy sugar? Hangs in the air. Is it sugary cream or creamy sugar? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I wasn't expecting a serious reply. Are you disappointed that I actually listen to you from time to time? <laughs> He's so fucking cute. I love it. Maybe, after all, it means that I can pretend to talk seriously on a whim when I'm bored and want to see an amusing reaction. But that's not what you're doing now. Of course not. I catch myself smiling before quickly reverting to my in-character, I'm only here because I have to be gays. <laughs> he has a legit name for that. It's the I'm only here because I have to. Um, thanks. Oh, we're about to get serious. Rin's eyes drift down to the strawberry sitting atop the tower of... Edible heaven. Don't mention it. Although, if there's anything you want to tell me, feel free to say it. Oh, the silence. She scoops up some of the... Some of the moat of melted ice cream surrounding the center and accidentally slurps it. It was nothing big. I told you, right? The guy in my class saw me playing a fighting game during self-study and asked if I wanted to challenge him in the arcade. Spoon hangs limply in her fingers, grazing the vanilla mountain. Oh, this is... I still like Lillian's theme more, but this theme? This, like, uh, gentle bell theme is kind of up there. It's up there for at least number two. Alright. And I agreed, of course. I mean, I wasn't sure how I was supposed to go somewhere alone with a guy, but I kind of had to agree. And then? Or, and then? Her shoes scrape the ground as she kicks her feet back and forth. It's alright. Oh, come on, Rin. Open up. Um, Mark? Am I in love? Don't worry about it. Oh, Rin's in love with this guy. She's in love with the dude that asked him about. Oh, my God. Forget the semantics. Oh, it's so adorable. You want to meet him again, right? Then go do it. There's no rule saying that every emotion needs a proper name. Yeah. This game gets really deep and really philosophical at some points. It's like, just do it. It, it just gets all kinds of Shia LaBeouf. It's like, just screw, just screw it. Go on an adventure. Do something. Live your life. You took me seriously? You called me by name. By my name. I kind of had to. Shoot. That was an accident. I know. That's why I believed you. Rita? Aww. She pokes at the strawberry with the spoon as if pondering which angle to bite it from. No need to get that serious. I wish you could see the look on your face right now like you're already planning out your wedding ceremony oh it is it totally is i didn't know how to describe that face but that is exactly right she's got this this sweetness in her face this this adorable loveliness to her face it, it's not that i just and please don't say something cheesy like i just want to see him again tomorrow and talk about inconsequential things here ah how nostalgic i haven't met a face like that in three years you're making me feel like an old man you think? Actually, Mark, I've seen that face on you pretty recently. Yeah, but the question is who is doing it, Myra or Lillian? Which one of them is giving Mark the face? Uh, how recently? Oh, not long. About a week. Or maybe two. Myra's watery eyes on that cold hilltop pop into mind. Along with Lillian's silhouette against sunset. See? See? This is, this is what I'm talking about. He's got, like, this love triangle going on. Or not love triangle, more of like a, um... Oh, what is it? He's got, like, this internal struggle, right? Myra is the childhood love, but Lillian is the, uh, uh, the, what do you call it? Like, not background character. I don't want to say that because she's a good character, but she's kind of the, uh, uh unnoticed friend, right? She's, he's just, he's known her, you know, for a year or whatever, it doesn't matter. And then now he's starting to get feelings for her. So, the feelings that he's had since, you know, his childhood 
or the feelings that he's just now gotten for this newer, you know, more intellectual person. Oh, I love it. I love this storyline. The storyline is pretty good. I guess I've been busy, too. I don't doubt it. She grins as she swallows a half-melted mouthful of ice cream, whipped cream, and probably a couple more types of cream. <laughs> My dirty mind just went straight into the gutter on that one. I've just, yeah. By the way, that guy you were talking about, he isn't just some guy who talked to you, is he? Um, you know, I'm more patient than you. Well, he's kind of someone I noticed a while ago. I was going to talk to him, but he always he was always surrounded by friends. And he seems like a nice guy, but I don't really know him, and... It's alright, I understand. I wish you luck. I try to muster up my most convincing big brother smile. So like, so like what, like... No, that's, that's fucking retarded. Try, um, try something like this, like... Hmm. Or... Hmm. Yeah, that's the one right there. Like, hmm. Big brother smile, there you go. Hopefully I succeeded. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Right on cue, she chomps down the strawberry and concludes her battle against mankind's greatest sundae. I really should have ordered one of those. So Mark didn't even order a sundae. Getting kind of late. But there's still so much we can do. And this is coming from the person who said there was nothing to do in here an hour ago. That's because I wasn't in the mood to do anything fun. Like tease you. Of course, that would be your favorite pastime. You know... If this were a game, we'd have to go shopping for clothes. Oh, God. The fourth wall! You are breaking the fourth wall! And then you get to watch me try on swimsuits and rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. Fourth wall, woman! Fourth wall! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fourth wall! Oh, my God. Here, Here's the fourth wall. Here's her in. Boom! Gone! <laughs> she's just... Oh, she's knocking the fourth wall out. This game is awesome. You sound like you wouldn't mind doing that. I, I guess I could, if you want me to. Oh! There's no need. We both know you'd be the school swimsuit character. <laughs> hey! Maybe. Oh, hang on, hang on. I, I don't know what that noise is. I, I don't know how to make that noise. It's whoosh! There you go. Whoosh! A fist soars above my head as I instinctively crouch down. Ha! Dodged it! Fucking right on, Mark! Dodged it like a bro, like a boss. Fine then, I suppose you could pull off a, of a off a one piece and a sarong, but that's it. Hmm. If you were in that situation, you'd keep reloading the save file until you got every image, wouldn't you? <laughs> now that you mention it. Well, too bad. Rin pouts and turns around, but I know she's smiling. So how about it? Want to head back? Yeah, I guess we should. I had fun today. Glad to hear it. You're the best. Mark is the best. Mark is, like, right on. Go, Mark. You are a true bro. Rig hugs me like a child hugging a teddy bear. I know she's joking, but I've had her head and play along. Don't forget your mission, now. You can't back down after coming this far. I know, I know. Say, Mark, promise me something, will you? Marking as though she came up with the idea of a lifetime, she walks up ahead and gazes through the foggy window, expression reflected by the contrast and the light. When this is all over and exams are finished, let's go sing karaoke. Me, you, Lucas, Lillian, maybe even my friend. Maybe even Myra. Eyes closed, singing along to a Christmas love song. New Year's Eve. Let's do it. You promise? I promise. Yeah, they're gonna go sing karaoke at the end of the game. Hopefully. <laughs> in that quiet corner of a crowded mall, next to an old, discolored window overlooking a slushy parking lot, I saw the future. What am I supposed to do? It all happened so fast. What came over me? I'm, okay, so I think this is Myra's diary. Right, because it has the ribbon. Yeah, this is Myra's. Climbing into his window. Climbing into his window was an impulse decision to begin with, and it all snowballed from there. I kept telling myself to stop, but I couldn't. I want to see how he reacts. I want to embarrass him. I want to see if, I can, if he can tell when I'm kidding and when I'm not. What's wrong with me? Everything that happened on the hill? No, I don't even want to think about it. This is wrong. It was always wrong. I just couldn't see it. This is what I get for playing with something that I should never be played with. Oh, say, so, so like, love, emotions? Stand up and rub my eyes. Cloudy day out. No doubt he's walking a lonely walk back home. Thinking about that night as frantically as I am. He must be, right? There's no way he didn't feel anything. I mean... Oh, God. I can't start thinking like this. What have I done? It's never supposed to be a storybook romance. And it can never be... 
be one either. Slowly, deliberately, I pull out a sheet of paper and start writing. Aww. Uh, wait, what did you say? Closed. And by closed, you mean closed. Lucas repeats the same word over and over through my phone. Aww, the maid cafe was closed. Poor Lucas. I guess there's not much to say other than that it was <laughs> closed. <laughs> the maid cafe is closed. You mean closed for today or just closed? <laughs> Sounds like he's sobbing, but it's hilarious in my head. It is hilarious. Oh my god. Yes, the fucking art style. Welcome home, master. I'm back. This is your lucky day. Today is our weekly Nico Mimi night. <laughs> oh god. I love you. <laughs> fucking Lucas being a fucking retard. And on top of that, it's also our monthly school, <laughs> school swimsuit plus over, over knee socks event. The perfect two course meal. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Lucas, bro, come on. Have some dignity, man. I love you even more. In fact, we're going through all the trouble of tracking us down, despite not being listed on any online map to avoid potential legal issues. We'll even offer our extra special Do Doki Doki Excitement Hour for our for your eyes only. Oh God, I'm getting I'm getting an extra special Doki Doki Excitement Hour. This is the greatest day of my life, <laughs> fucking Lucas. That's right, and we even have food. And the maids just fall silent. Is what I would like to say, but we're closed. And dead. What? <laughs> Lucas just freezes, literally. <laughs> eh. but, but we're not completely gone. You can still smell the fragrance of uh, omelette rice dressed by a maid's loving hands. If you come right after garbage day. Poor Lucas. <laughs> he tried so hard. And then he got denied so hard. Uh, Lucas, you still there? I'm trying to figure out what you were snickering about a minute ago, but yes, I'm still here. I guess he noticed. Yeah, <laughs> I probably I probably be laughing at him too because that is just hilarious to think about. Um, well, look on the bright side. When you get old enough, you can open up your own maid cafe and fill the city with hope. I know your words are shallow, but thank you. He took it seriously. So is that it? The store was just closed. Pretty much. The windows were boarded up. The poster's gone. There was something else there, or there was something there. I'm sure of it. How can you be so sure? You had the address. How can you be sure you had the address? I didn't like the correct address. That too, but I could smell them. <laughs> you could smell them. The maids, I mean. There used to be maids in that building, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Your maid senses were tingling. You think I'm exaggerating? God knows you're not. <laughs> Lucas is so fucking wrong. What is this deal? Our laughter fades away and an awkward silence replaces it. Uh, Mark? Hmm. Actually... There was another reason why I called you. What well, was it? It's not particularly important. Not particularly important. What does that mean? It means that, to some extent, it's important. Yet, in many ways, it's something that is, in fact, unimportant. You're just trying to piss me off. <laughs> Mark has n just takes no bullshit from anybody. Whoa, wrong button? Okay. I was actually trying to distract you. We've been friends since the beginning of high school. I can tell when you're, tr when you're hiding something. I hesitate to play the old friend card, but now is as good a time as any. In that case, would you like to hear the truth? Only if you're willing to tell me. Let's see. The cards are in my hands. Pause for a moment, and so does the sound of his footsteps. Is this serious enough for him to stop talking? Or stop walking, not talking. Yeah. In that case, I'll explain. Ooh, we just got real serious. I reconstruct every conversation I had with Luke's over the past few days, searching for clues that I might not want to find. I can't tell you everything. You can only explain in bits and pieces. Fragments for you to piece together on your own. Hopefully by the time you finish, it won't be too late. Fair enough. What the fuck are they talking about? This is getting crazy. He takes a deep breath. Do you remember that time in ninth grade when you and Lillian and I worked on, uh, worked together on that science project? Yeah, it was a painful couple of months. We barely scraped up a 70 at the end of all of it. Uh, yes, I suppose it was painful. But it wasn't entirely bad, was it? And that time we went on a trip up north for geography to study the natural wonders of the countryside? You remember, right? That too. We spent most of the time filling out a question sheet, but it wasn't all bad. I think I might know where you're going with this. I don't- Please explain, because I don't know where he's going with this. Do you? You also might be wrong. Regardless. To sum it up, I suppose you could say that I've been feeling reminiscent lately. My judgment is still, but a wistful wind leaks through the closed window. I've noticed 
It's an odd change for someone like you. It is, isn't it? I've been con- I've been conscious of it all- Ah, I've been conscious of it myself. I shouldn't be feeling this way. It's not my job, not my thing! I suppose everyone, every human at some point, had to think about what they're searching for. Talk about melodramatic. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I know you're not. Do you remember when we first met, Mark? Let's see, it was right at the beginning of freshman year. We held a mock debate for our first English class, and lazy and unmotivated me was pitted against melodramatic and overenthusiastic you. I actually hated his guts during the debate, but things changed. Or things changed, not changed. I, I cannot speak today. Funny how things happen. And you remember when we first met Lillian? We were just talking about it, yeah. That's right, the science project. We were told to form a group of three, and it was a few months into the year, so a lot of our classmates had already made friends. Lucas and I knew we'd be working together, but the remainder of the class had settled into their own groups. All except for that one quiet girl in the corner. Yep, that's it. And surely you still re ah, surely you still remember when you introduced me to Rin. Uh, I think I'd rather not remember. That was an introduction. That was eavesdropping. And skipping class. Can you blame me? She seemed like she would make a good disciple. I hit... I had to find out for sure. The whole escapade basically amounted to him following her around for the first day of class and waiting to hear the right references. <laughs> Anyways, it's those memories that I'm talking about. They're small, but they're precious. I don't want to lose them. Tick tock goes the clock in my head. What makes you think you'll lose them? Just promise me. What? Promise me that you won't let me lose those. Me that we won't lose those memories. No matter what happens. No matter how cheesy this sounds. Okay. Alright, alright, I promise. By the way, Rin gave me an idea today. You don't say. Karaoke. Like, the 70s super robot intros? I don't know, just karaoke. New Year's Eve, all four of us. Plus a special guest or two. You in? Sounds like a plan. Without unambiguous confirmation, I bury my face in the pillow. Lying on the bed as I gaze blankly at the invisible ceiling, I think through my conversation with Lucas and the time I spent with Rin. Something is about to happen. Something inevitable. I don't think I can avoid it. I don't think I should avoid it. My path was set in stone the minute I let this whole adventure begin. Or adventure start, not begin. I keep replacing words today. And all the while, that faded, sun-soaked reel of memories plays over and over in my head. With a worn outside, I turn to my side and close my eyes. Day 6. Leave of Faith. Alright, we will do Day 6 in the next episode. So we are done for now. Let me go ahead and save here. Yes, overwrite the save. All right. So, main menu. Music. See Lillian's theme. There we go. Okay. So that was another episode. That was an interesting episode. It was uh, heavier on Rin and Lucas. So we found out that Rin has a thing for one of her classmates, right? Uh, Lucas. It seems that Lucas and Lillian are... Kind of a thing, kind of not a thing, I don't know. And Mark still, uh, and Mark is kind of in love with Lillian and Myra. He's getting feelings for both of them, so. The question is, who will he choose? Hmm. I don't know. Good question. Well, it, I don't want to see it divulge into something like, uh, Lillian and, uh, Lucas get together. And then me and Myra get together because we're just old romance. That's kind of cliche. It's too easy. I'd rather see something like me and Lillian. I, I, I like Mark and the idea of Mark and Lillian. I don't know why. It just seems like, you know, the past is the past for a reason. And, you know, you can't go back. So maybe Lucas will end up with Myra. Or maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, that was another episode of Sapia Tears. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't, do the usual. Like, subscribe, check out my streams. And I will see you guys in the next video. Reap the Rager, signing off.